All right, so I've decided on a last minute road trip. Um, hadn't planned on doing anything this weekend other than maybe a day trip, but there's still snow in the Bighorns and their cross country ski trails are still open. So I think I'm gonna go for that. Try it out, ski tomorrow a little bit. Uh, tonight I'm hoping to get to the Badlands before sunset and then I can do some photography and maybe some Milky Way photography there and then we'll see what else happens. Um, that's the plan. Who knows if I stick with it. I'm um, just being kind of spontaneous today. Let's go. I'm in Mitchell, South Dakota and I just stopped for some gas and some snacks and it's almost 80 degrees and driving along with skis in my car. I just thought that was kind of funny anyway. Here's Mitchell. Well, you know, not the fun part. Not going to the Corn Palace. Good morning from Gillette, Wyoming. I spent the night here last night and also because there's a Smith's here so I can get my favorite pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. Nice breakfast, I know. Um, headed to Buffalo now and then into the mountains for skiing. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. See you there. I haven't gone very far, but had to stop because I, you know, this altitude's a lot and I haven't um, skied in a while. You know, we haven't had snow in Minnesota for a while now. Um, it's interesting snow. It's really deep, but um, since it is, is this pole for a, since it's melty, so it's really soft and sometimes your pole goes all the way down and sometimes not. It's kind of fun. Let me just show you the trail ahead. Oh, it's pretty here. I just came up a hill and down a little hill. So I got rested a little bit. Don't feel as much like puking. So let's get going again. Here's the cutoff. That was hard. It was uphill and while there was a trail, it, you know, was old. So you sunk an awful lot. So a little bit of rest and then I think it's mostly downhill from here or at least not so much uphill. And then back to the car. That's probably all I can do today being not really in shape for this elevation. Sure is pretty here though. Definitely want to come back maybe next winter. Maybe. Yeah, next winter. Trails will probably be in better shape because they groom them then and nothing but the sun and the sky and some birds. And there's one other person out here. Made it to the end. I'm sure this wind is too much for this. Fell right at the end because there's some little bumps. Practically mobiles and they're like really short and sharp and eh, the snow is pretty small. I mean pretty, pretty small. Pretty soft, so it was a nice fall. So check out what these guys are doing. It looks really cool. They're snowmobiling and pulling the sled down the hill and then they go back up. It, that looks so much fun. It was great. You kind of have a snack, rest up a little bit, and maybe just cruise around a little bit. Check out the rest. Of the yeah, those are my skis. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Just sitting here thinking, I drove what? It's 11 hours to get here, I think, for like two hours of skiing and then 11 hours home. Was it worth it? Heck yes, it was. Um, gonna hit the road, just maybe do some scenic driving and stop at 
Devil's Tower on the way home. We'll see.